Hello everybody, Arno Manet from Global Distribution. Today's video will be about the MSite Pro from my site. So the MSite Pro is an application available for iOS and Android that you can download for free and that gives you access to your MySite devices such as your NVR or your cameras. Uh, for the purpose of the test here I will be using the N1004 from my side which is the smallest NVR available but keep in mind that it will work the same for any NVR or cameras that you have to connect with the application so first of all I will connect to my NVR here so I will just log in into and I will go in the settings parameters so in the system network so here is the basic information from your network you need to have an internet access to get the remote access of course so you have two options the first one is the DDNS uh, application so you can use your own DDNS or you can use the one provided by my site uh, as you like but here for a more easier connection I will show you the my site cloud connection so um, you may know another type of connection which is the P2P or peer-to-peer -peer, but it's exactly the same it's just a rename one from the last version so here we will need to enable the access to the MySite Cloud so in fact you will connect to your NVR or your cameras through the MySite Cloud server so that's just give you an access but it's an easy access you don't need to change anything in your router or on your firewall uh, it will be uh, a very simple connection to make so you just enable the application and from now your system is available for uh, MSite Pro connection so let's take a phone or a tablet and show you how to connect from there so here we are in the MSite Pro application on my tablet uh, so this is the live view settings um, so here we have some uh, icons on the side so I will just click on the bottom left and here it have all the menus so all are in French but you have the live view, the playback, the uh, manager equipment, the folder management, the alarm messages, the remote maintenance and the general menu so let's dive in the playback so right now I have no equipment so I got no call to playback right now so let's go back and move on to the uh, equipment manager i have no equipment manager no folder at all in the folder management the other messages again i don't have nothing right now the remote maintenance again because i don't have any equipment and the last menu is the uh, <coughs> sorry the general menu uh, which is some parameters uh, for the application itself so let's go back and add some equipment on the application so you can add a camera or an NVR or scan directly a QR code and you can also remove an equipment so let's just add an NVR so you have three options here you can add it by IP domain by P2P which means the my site cloud or you have the my site DDNS so you choose your option I will choose the P2P uh, here and now I have the icon to scan my QR code that we saw just before on the NVR itself. So let's scan the NVR. Okay, so here I have the, the, the scan. Now I will have to add the username and password to be able to connect uh, to the NVR. So let's just put the username, the password, and just add on the top right. Okay, so yes, so now the ad is successfully done. So let's move on. 
and I go back right to the live view and you can see the live view of all the cameras on my system uh, so we have some icons that you can see on the bottom and on the side so on the side it's the layout so you can have a full screen camera or to split four cameras on the same screen go to nine and the last one is 16 camera at maximum in the same time in the uh, live view <clears throat> so that's some layout that you can uh, put the system up as you please so let's go uh, yeah and we'll not wait to all the cam to load in but it can take some time as you can see uh, let's go back in the playback menu so here is full screen but i will just add one cam so i will start with the beginning time and an ending time what type it's a primary or secondary uh, icon if it's an event or not and i'll check which camera i would like to add so here i will take the first one and as you can see now i have the footage of the record from that camera so let's put it in full screen and on the bottom of the camera you have a time uh, phrase set where you can select the time of your record but you can zoom in to have a better look of the record that you want to see or zoom out uh, it depends on uh, what you'd like to do so when you have done uh, this is it so i don't have any folder but you can check your folder uh, for your record uh, for the alarm messages so now i have an equipment so i can uh, check on it and i can activate the push messages uh, for that uh, system if I have any event so you have to go through all uh, the configuration to have it uh, active but you can also after that receive uh, information of event on your cameras or equipment so right now I don't have any message but it can happen just after that so let's move on to the remote maintenance so here you can move and check the uh, connection remotely to your equipment and do some maintenance on it also you have to do some configuration on it here so let's go back in the live view uh, so this is it for the m site pro application and you have more option to dive in from here so that's conclude our presentation for the m site pro application so as you saw it's an easy way to set it up and to use it and it's a free uh, connection to make so uh, another reason to use it uh, in the meantime if you need more information about the m -Side pro or other product you can uh, reach us through our website global.ca uh, consider subscribe to uh, this youtube channel if you don't want to miss another video that we'll be making in the near future you can follow us also on facebook uh, to have the, near, the newest information uh, so in the meantime uh, i'll see you in the next one thank you for listening to me today uh, bye bye